Hey everybody, welcome to the Sorceress Selen questline guide, where we will figure out how to get the Azure's set and the Lusat set. The first thing we have to do in Selen's questline is actually find and talk to Selen. So if you have already done that, feel free to skip on. But Selen is at the Waypoint Ruins Cellar. So if you have just recently started the game, you want to travel to Agile Lake North. You want to come down this road across the bridge, down to Waypoint Ruins. And when you get to Waypoint Ruins, you're going to come up upon a huge flower that's going to shoot a lot of magic at you. And I'm going to run up and show you where the entrance is. So here's the road. So you'll come up on the cellar. There's the magic I was talking about. But all you have to do is don't get in it. <laughs> run through this door, through this little pathway, and down the stairs. Now, if you haven't been here before, this is going to be a mist, and when you come in here, there's going to be a mad pumpkin head that you have to fight. You can summon for this fight. So then when you beat him and come in here, you'll meet Sorceress Selen, which will be right here. You can talk to her, and she will ask you to be her apprentice, and then you will accept, and you can buy sorcery spells from her and all of that. Chances are you've already done this, so... Now let's go to the next part. Okay, so the next part requires you to be a little bit further in the game in that you need to be able to travel up the lift to Altus Plateau and you also need to have beaten Renala in the Academy. So if you have done that, you need to make your way up this mountain, around this mountain, around this river, all the way through the magma, around and around and around, up to Primeval Sorcerer Azure. Once you get here, he will be standing right here, wearing this armor that I'm wearing now. You talk to him, and he's going to give you the Comet Azure spell. Now, I have a better video tutorial explaining on how to actually get here, so I will put that link in the description. Once you've found Sorcerer Azure and gotten his spell, you want to come back down to the Waypoint Ruin Cellar and talk to Selen again. Selen will ask you for a request once you show her the spell, and she's going to give you an item called the Selian Seal Breaker. She's going to ask you to find Master Lusat. To find Master Lusat, you need to go to Kalid. So if you have not been there, you can take this road northeast outside of Lingrave. You take the road all the way down and all the way around until you get to, right here, Church of the Plague. So once you've made your way to Church of the Plague, what we're going to do is we're going to exit the church this direction. We're going to run up here through a wood arch, cross the street into a graveyard, and then there's going to be a secret place called Celia Hideaway. So here's the exit on the side of the church. There's the archway straight ahead. There's some mobs along the way, but you can skip them if you wish. There's two under here that you probably need to kill because our objective is straight ahead at this grave site. And at this big grave site, there's another mob that casts at you and he hurts a little bit. And then you'll get to Celia's hideaway, but when you get here, it's just going to look like a wall, so you need to walk straight from the back of this grave. You need to walk straight at the wall. When you get up to the wall, there's probably some messages on the ground. And you just roll into the wall, and this path right here will appear. And that is the entrance to Celia Hideaway. Okay, this so next part a little more complicated. And you're going to want a torch. If you don't have a torch, you can buy one from the merchant at the Church of Ella, which is the one of the first waypoints that you come to. It's like 200 runes, I think, but you're going to want it. It's pretty dark. Okay, so. 
we are going to go through this way. There's a grace. Keep going down the tunnel. A couple of mobs along the way. They're pretty, pretty harmless. A lot of stuff in here is really weak, but it hurts, so you want to take them out as quick as possible. Keep following around the tunnel. Take this right fork. We'll come to this open room with a bunch of crystals. Now, first thing you want to do is walk across this crystal and then drop down onto this crystal. Come right down to the edge of here and kill this thing with some ranged attack. Now, if you're super strong, go ahead and jump down and fight it, but I am going to range it up here because it does a combo attack that hurts really, really bad. Alright, now, jump down here. Follow the path. Here, there's some fireflies right here. Continue up. We found another area with crystal. There's a snail here. We want to take left around here. We're going to come to a spot with a couple of Bob's, we're going to jump across this. Now, walk around here to the left. Take this snail out. Get on this path. Take it down, down, down to this snail. And then jump off onto this one. Go straight back here. Be wary of the caster. And you are going to find a big bright blue rune. And this is where you'll use Selen's item that she gave you. To come in this tunnel. And Lusat will be laying right here. So just talk to him and you will get what you need. So once you get the Stars of Ruin Sorcery from Lusat, you need to go back here to the Waypoint Ruin Cellar and talk to Selen again. Tell her that you found Lusat, go through all of the dialogue options, and then Selen will ask another favor of you. Something, something, her body's not real, etc., etc. So to do this part, you need to have beat Star Scourge Radon because it, it takes you a few places in the quest line that require that as well. So now that you've talked to Selen and she wants you to do something for her, what you need to do is go find her body at the Witchblade Ruins down south here by going to the fourth church of Marika and heading south. You can see the, the hole in the ground from here overlooking the ruins. There's the hole, just jump on in. Head down here. Her body will be right here. She will talk to you, tell you some things about the quest, and then she will give you a primal glint stone. Now that we have the primal glint stone, we need to go all the way up to Branny's Rise. Now you want to go back down to the bottom 
of the tower where I'm at. And from the entrance, you want to run straight down the stairs until you get to these ruins. Hang a left at the ruins and just hop right on up here where I'm at this first pillar. Now these stairs won't be here for you because they're hidden and you have to roll into them. So just roll into them and this will appear. You head down here. Now again that door right there won't be there either. So you'll see this glowing thing to the left of it. You go back here and roll into the wall. When you roll into the wall the door will appear and Selen's new body will be right here. So talk to the body. You'll put the primal glintstone in the body and Selen will tell you that she is going to go take her place at the academy. So now Selene has her new body. We need to go all the way southeast to Redmain Castle. Now you want to be at Redmain Castle Plaza. Depending on after what you did after Radon, you may have to kill a boss to get through here. But once you are here, from the grace, you want to go through this archway. Up the stairs, up the stairs, and into the church, where you will find the witch hunter, Jaren. He will tell you some things, that he's tying up loose ends, and that he will go away. Now, if you have already done this after killing Radon, he won't be here. So, don't worry. Where he's going to be is the next place. Okay, so once you've talked to Jaren at the church at Redmain Castle, or realized that you've already done it, we need to go way back where we found Selene's old body in the Witchbane Ruins and talk to Jaren again. Make sure you talk to him and exhaust all of his dialogue options. And when you do, you need to go back up north to the Academy and take the Rhea Lucaria Grand Library, Grace, teleport where you killed Renala. Once you're here, you need to leave the room. where the elevator is and then turn around to face the room and when you do there's going to be one summon stone to help Selene and one summon stone to help Jaren. Depending on who you decide to help you'll get different rewards. I helped Selene because she was my teacher and I just wanted to but if you help Witch Hunter Jaren I think you probably get better rewards but I will put a list of the rewards in the description for you to decide for yourself. So once you make your choice use the summoning stone that you want and you will be portaled into battle with the other one and fighting alongside the one that you chose to help. And when you beat them, congratulations, you have finished Selen's questline. The only thing left to do is to claim your prize. So, if you go back up to where you were, Primeval Sorcerer Azure, and go there, and his body will be gone, and there will be loot on the ground, and he will give you his armor set. Then, go back to Kaelid in Celia Hideaway, and go back through the Crystal Tunnels to Lusat's body, and it will be gone loot on the ground and it will be his armor set so you get two awesome armor sets for one quest chain so that's pretty cool the helmet of each enhances the spells that you get from each so that's a good bonus well that's it hopefully this was helpful to somebody and i know there was a lot of steps but a lot of reward at the end so Good luck out there, everybody. Don't die too many times, and until next time, take care.